It just does something to you. I mean, it's just yeah. the, your spirit just goes, whoa, you know? I grew up in the church. And so from the age of about four years old, I used to get picked up by the Sunday school band. Right. And, um, there was a lovely gentleman. I grew up on a on a on a council estate in South London, in Peckham, and um, and so there was this lovely gentleman who was a churchgoer. And what he did is he basically went around to all the single mums and said, "I'd love to take your your children off your hands on a Sunday morning and bring them back in the afternoon for a few hours and take them to Sunday school." My mum was like. Great, what time are you picking them up? <laughs> so lots of the kids on the estate, we went off to Sunday school on a Sunday. But for me, what I loved about going to church was the music. Mm. And I just was one of those babies that I would hear music and I would just be like singing along to adverts and I was that child. So the music really hooked me in really early on. One of the things that LCGC is known for, the Community Gospel Choir, mm. is for um, backing lots of secular artists. Mm. And so that was really my introduction oh. into the secular world. If you guys know that song, I want to know what love is, I want you to show me. Massive anthem. Mm. And so that's LCGC on it. Whatever I do, I want it to have, I want to bring joy I want to represent hope. I want to represent possibilities because of the things, the things that I've done. Yeah. For a regular girl from Peckham on the council estate, that these things don't ha don't happen. But for some reason, God entrusted these experiences to me, and so I want to represent for women that have gone through some of the challenges I've gone through. Young people you know, that are born up single parents, you know, you're kind of in a very, you know, challenging place in society, yeah, yeah. you know, where you don't have the support, you don't have the financial yeah, uh, yeah. freedom. Do you know what I mean? First album that I ever bought with my pocket money was an album by Luther Vandross. Yeah, yeah. And as far as singers go, mm -hmm. I mean, he's a real, he's a real art, you know, he, the yeah. way he sings, it's just an art form. A couple of people came up to me and they said, look, we're actually scouts for The Voice. Oh, and, you know, we want you to, we really want you to do the show. And I was like, no way. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I think it started in me first. Something I believed that I could do it. I think if you, I think that's the main thing, like with anything, I think you have to believe in yourself that you can, that you can do it. to sit down and write the song it just came and I think it came because I had been consciously doing some some stuff to work on myself mm -hmm. where I was like I don't want this thing to keep to define me I don't want this experience that I went through to now be where I stop God hasn't given me songs that are like Viva Spell. I don't, I've not written those songs. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I totally. songs are not praise and worship. My no, songs yeah. are not, they're not gospel in their style. They're, but, they're but, but it's just about real life. It's about real life. Yeah. Be, you know, be authentic. Be yourself. Be authentic. You know, I'm, and somebody will connect to it. I'm, and I get, I get, I, I get shocked. You know, just about how many people have connected to me. I get feedback from men and women. 
Yeah. Men and women. And, you know, unfortunately, there's, a, there's an awful lot of men that have gone through abusive, mm. you know, situations, abusive relationships. Um, but so I can say, out of that affliction has come this goodness. That's and that's, that's kind of what I, that's what I try to do. And what happened was they have, with the charity, they work with a number of women who are um, survivors of um, domestic abuse. And uh, I don't like the word victim, survivors of, of, yeah. of um, domestic abuse. And um, so what we did, there was a couple of us, I think there was about five or six, we, we, we gave some vocal coaching to these ladies. Wow and uh, just helped to really build their confidence. And they sang the song. Because the Niche Power Hour was a result of me sharing the fact that I'd gone through domestic abuse uh -huh. on The Voice. Okay. In fact, they, I never told anyone, they found out. Yeah. And, it, and it came out and it was in the papers and all this stuff. And what happened, it was actually a blessing in disguise because so many people reached out to me. What I like about it is it, it isn't me just going, you need to do this and you need to do that. Mm. What I think is wonderful is it's a conversation. And so like we, we spoke one day about confidence and somebody said, well, this is what's helped me. And so it helps everyone. What I'd like to say is that you are enough. And that's one of the things that I've probably struggled with most in my journey is whether I'm, I'm good enough. And, um, you know, sometimes stuff happens that will kind of make you question that. And I want you to know that you are. You are good enough. 